right, welcome back you guys. I know you're dying to learn what this whole machine tab is about, so let's just jump into it. This is where you go to make sure that all your machines are functionally operational and kind of doing what they're supposed to do. So this is where your technicians will hang out all the time. Anyone in production that reports issues, um, they might do it here or they might do it in a few other convenient places, but this is where all of the issues going on with all of your machines will show up. Um, great news for this fake account, there's none. Um, so if I hide operational, I'm literally hiding everything. This is normally where I'd go to see everything that's wrong, but nothing is wrong at the moment. Let's take one step back and say we got a new machine. Let's edit machines. You can add a new machine. Assuming that it's something fairly common, you'll likely find a preset from all your various technologies here. Otherwise, you can go through a handful of steps to go ahead and get it set up. Job file matching, that's things like G codes or 3MFs, uh, and job print identifiers or print job identifiers are the more advanced things where it'll actually dig through a G code to try to find out is this for a Prusa? Is this for a Bamboo? What is this G-code? We'll get into all that more advanced stuff later. Don't worry about that here. I'm just trying to show you guys, in general, how this tab works. So, you create a new machine, you can add as many instances of that machine as you'd like. That, in this case, means that we own three of that specific machine. Cool. So, back here, Let's start to do maintenance stuff. Let's look into the dashboard of every specific, not every specific, but just one specific machine so that we can get a feel for how this works. Let's just say we walk in and we see Prusa number 15. This is blank. This is the first time anyone's ever been here, okay? Normally it's much more filled out than this. Um, but yeah, you might just say this is the chat room. Okay, you might say something, and then you might attach a picture. Uh, I don't have one, or add a GIF. I know we all love to GIF. Um, anyway, if there are any sliced jobs for this machine, by the way, those will show up here, just a little convenient thing. But for the most part, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this, which is here's where you log all your issues or events, and these are things that you kind of want to keep track of over time. Like, well, let's click it. Um, these are just some examples, but like cooling fan broken, that would be a critical issue. It prevents the machine from being operational. Or maybe it's a minor issue, like a, something squeaking. Or maybe it's an event. A notable event has occurred, such as a repair, upgrade, or maintenance. Something huge. You can log all that kind of stuff here. In this case, a cooling fan broken is usually a critical issue. It is not resolved. And I could just say it's just not spinning. I don't know what to tell you. This is how I log things, by the way, okay? Um, and then I would attach a picture. Great. Ha. Huh. Cool. So, we used to have no active issues, but now we have one, and that needs to be resolved. So, uh, let's say you're the person who's in charge of fixing that. You could describe what you did to fix it. Um, if you'd like, and you can mark it as, as resolved. There you go. Uh, or from here, if it's just something simple like clog, well, maybe you don't even want to open it up. You just mark it as resolved. Everything is back. We're on track. Things are moving. That's great. Um, so again, let's just quickly mark one as unoperational. And let's hide operational. This is your view. If you're coming into the office and you've been out for a few days and you want to see what machines are down, that's how you do it. Hide operational. All right. Thank you so much, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.